Hello, I'm Sébastien Henin from the National Investor. We are in, in Dubai for the MINA Fund Forum and I am with Tariq Kakish from Elmol Capital. Would you mind to share with us your views regarding the challenges for the asset management industry in the MINA region? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge for us is the uh, political unrest in the region. Investors, international investors especially, uh, they see the Middle East region as one block. And, uh, and of course this is not the situation. I think there is lots of education that we need to do. Investors need to understand the difference between uh, UAE, Egypt, uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and other countries like Syria and Iraq. So there is a big divergence in terms of the macro picture and at the same time there is a big uh, divergence in terms of the, uh, uh, the political stability. When you say that there are some differences, I mean, how, how different are, are, these, are these MENA markets compared to both frontier and emerging markets? Uh, among MENA, there is a big difference. Uh, so you can see Yemen, which is uh, in the MENA region, which the GDP per capita is below $1,000. At the same time, you can see Qatar, which has the highest GDP per capita, which is around $80,000 uh, per capita according to 2013 numbers. So the, the, chain, uh, the difference is big and I believe this gap will continue because uh, oil producing countries will continue to grow while uh, countries that are still depending on oil production and uh, uh, pr the prices, the volatility of the prices in oil will continue to be the, uh, the obstacle to them. How do you assess the expected opening of uh, the Saudi market next year? How do you think, do you think it will be a, a game changer for the region? I believe uh, Saudi presents a good story in the MENA region because it's, uh, if it's weight. Uh, currently Saudi Arabia presents 50% of the MENA market. Uh, I believe the, uh, the opening up will create a new uh, opportunity to the MENA region, not only for Saudi Arabia. Uh, the, of course, when uh, uh, index providers such as MSCI will uh, upgrade the, the Saudi market to f um, emerging, this will have the bigger effect. Uh, if you look at Indonesia as an example, uh, when it was uh, upgraded from frontier to emerging markets, the uh, volume uh, increased by 12 times. In the UAE, we saw that trading volume has jumped three, four times already. So Saudi Arabia is a major country and I think uh, it will have a huge uh, effect on it. What are the, the plans for El Mal Capital in the, in the short term? Short term, we're focusing in terms of asset management, we're focusing to build our AUMs, then that's the core of the, uh, the business. Of course, at the same time, trying to um, um, establishing new products and new mandates to fit the, the, uh, the themes that is happening in the region, such as the Expo, uh, in Dubai and the UAE, uh, maybe uh, infrastructure themes in Saudi Arabia, you know, Saudi is spending around 500 billion dollars in the coming few years. So those themes that we are focusing on. In terms of other business units, uh, investment banking brokerage, we're still growing those uh, units and I think uh, our investment banking uh, is working on most of, uh, uh, lots of deals in the UAE. Tariq, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you.